Cornea is um, a globe shaped structure but in case of keratoconus it becomes cone shaped. So the cornea instead of round it will become cone and when it becomes cone shaped structure the people are not able to see well because they need high powered glasses for them to see well. Keratoconus is one of the leading causes at the moment in the young children and young adults in Kenya. I see quite a number of patients around 12 to 14 in a week's time who have keratoconus and I feel that we can do something for these children. We can reverse their blindness which they are having due to keratoconus by doing transplants, by doing corneal grafts so that they will be able to see well. The other, there are other causes where you can get corneal damages. There are hereditary and genetic causes of the cornea whereby or sometimes you can get trauma, sometimes you can get infections and the sequelae of the infections can lead to having opacification of the cornea and that's the reason you are not able to see well. There also we can do the transplant and make the people see very well. You know, the main problem of the people is the awareness, the accessibility and the affordability for this condition. Now whenever they are in the rural areas, all the doctors who are the ophthalmic doctors who are in rural areas, if they don't have any gadgets to detect this early, they should refer such, such kind of patients to the, the towns whereby these gadgets are available and we can diagnose them early and stop the keratoconus from getting progressed to such a level whereby they need a transplant. So you can arrest the progression of the keratoconus for that matter. But the ones who have progressed more, at least we can give them the treatment. You know, we try and give treatment at an affordable price at Lion Sight First Eye Hospital. And we really try to make some of them, we even treat free of charge, wherever the people are not able to afford. But we are not getting the local local Africans to donate these corneas. That is why we have to buy the corneas from U.S. And then that is why the cost of the surgery goes high up. So if we have the local Africans donating these corneas, then our the cost of the surgeries will definitely go down. My eyes used to itch a lot. I used to scratch them so much. And uh, I used to have headaches, which were really bad. But then after the operation, everything stopped. I'm not scratching my eyes anymore, and I have no headaches. The disease affected me in so many ways. Uh, first, my academic performance, I dropped, really, really dropped. But then, I've been picking since the operation was completed and I gained my sight back. This girl started having a problem when she was around three years old. Her eyes were brown. So we took out some clinic work at home and she was put on uh, eye drops. Because we were told it was an allergy that she was going to outlive her for some time. But when she got to class five, that's when uh, the problem started uh, manifesting itself. She was not even able to see the plug uh, wall properly. So we took her to some optical center, she was given some glasses. But after some time, when she was going to form one, we realized that the power of the lenses were being changed, they were getting more power. Then she was not even able to see well. She was having severe itches you know, all the time, complaining. She wouldn't even be able to look at the television and watch me. So we were told that uh, she actually needs uh, cornea graft surgery. She's now okay, she's able to see well. And of course that has given us uh, a lot of uh, solace as parents because uh, we feel now much better.